Greetings, 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 everybody. Welcome to another podcast. Right? This is episode number... Episode number six. All right. So, I probably might um, actually leave it wrong, honestly, because I am doing it right after um, uh, one in which I had level five. I'm not even sure um, where I'm at. But this is supposed to come up number six, right? All right. So today, I am looking at um, who defines you. Who defines you? Oh, is that the kind of topic that... It requires an introspective look on yourself, right? All right, so let's say you name a channel Fish Keep in Jamaica. Does this mean that you have to show an um, aquarium fish or fish in general all the time? All right, so to me, it's a no-brainer. No-brainer because it's my channel. I do what I want to do with my channel. Alright. So even if I name my channel Duck Duck Go, I not necessarily about duck, but it's about me. So in watching my channel, in watching my shares, at least you understand my personality as to where I'm going, um, what I'm interested in, and what I'm all about. Right? So it shouldn't be that because my channel is a um is named fish keep in jamaica that you should ascribe all the shares that are made and published and viewed by you made by me published on youtube viewed by you um are necessarily fish keeping related i say this to say that um the name fish keep in jamaica will remain fish keep in jamaica regardless of the direction in which I go, right? I am not able to compete with um, those persons who have extensive antennas and networking all over the place with regards to, you know, the latest gadget device, um, you know, persons within the hobby, probably longer than I am, right? But I know I can talk a lot and I can spawn interest in a lot of topics that not necessarily fish keeping but it's something that you know warrants you to actually you know look at so this podcast is about who defines you now now um I have actually made a few shares on my channel right and you have persons coming up and say um you know that that is that that is not that right some simple little some simple little what a, a person will say some simple little errors but to me some of them are not errors um some of them are intentional and just to pull at legs of some persons right now my thing is um and i'm going in a different topic from where i started from but you have to see with me still, right um if you are of the opinion that what I am sharing, and I'm not going contrary to what I shared in, share in in previous posts regarding persons copying ideas, right? Cool. And I think there was a there was a channel that actually shared some discrepancy as to how a process is actually done. I think it was between majestic aquariums, aquatics, or something like that and they are right julia something like that right we were talking about some um I, I don't remember the exact topic in which he actually made a video and did a correction right and i i, I like that fact that that was done and that no argument never really developed regards to um you know going on his channel making a comment and say hey this is not how you do it this is how you do it you know um it's it's about how you deliver your thing it's about how you actually you know counteract an argument so some persons they don't have a channel they don't have a space in which they actually share the ideas or share whatever they know so they go around and they, they view stuff right yes they know it all eh? they are found enough knowledge and they know it all and so they go around and they scrutinize right it's like a seasonal 
fish and you know you know you know that you have high blood pressure but you know other persons might not know so you put a small amount of salt in the food and somebody come and taste it they say hey, you know she said it's fresh right not really questioning as to why this was done or if this was intentional or whatever whatever right so um this is this is the this is the the, the, the paradigm in which we live in this is the the the, 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 the the space that we live in, right? Where we have to sometimes we have to watch what we say or watch what we do because you have some persons who are unknowing, right? Like they are gods. Um they actually go around and they scrutinize. That's all they do. They don't have any channel. They will tell you that they have been keeping fish for X amount of time. So to, to, to me, since they have been keeping fish for X amount of time or they have been doing something for X amount of time. Why not start a channel and, you know, they can actually share what they are, what they have knowledge of um, over the years, right? They, they won't, they won't because they just don't got it within them, right? All right, so um, we, 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 are, we are at a juncture, right, you know, we're in which a lot of persons, right? They are looking at the trends on on fish keeping hobby on the YouTube and other social media, and it's based on the trends that they are actually seeing. They do have video for that, and um, because of that, where you have you have certain time of the year or even certain time, um, yeah, in in, in, in yeah, certain time. That you'll have practically every channel kind of well I, I wouldn't say every channel still but a lot of channels out there wanting to you know to be out there right want to be in line with whoever because uh, anyway i should tell you about my 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 thing they will practically have similar videos in 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 in, in, in comparative to other fish keepers for, for example let's say that uh, the focus uh, a, a famous or should i say a, 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 a fish tuber that is popular within the hobby is looking at nano tanks right and looking at nano tanks introspectively just like how i am looking at tilapia right and uh, they decide that they are going to do a nana tank from the start to the finish and you know camera maintenance and everything about nana tank what you find is that because that well-known fish keeper is actually doing that and he has or she has a, a following that is huge and you want some of that following what you do you actually um start to do some video shares on nana tanks also that is just not me i like to i like to create my own space and to create my own um you know audience i might have twenty nine thousand um new viewers per month right yeah 29 new viewers per month twenty nine thousand new viewers per month but at the same time but at the same time um they are not all subscribed to my channel they just come for a particular topic and they leave and some persons are doing youtube search some persons are doing it as an entertainment some persons having a literal problem so therefore they just come search and the best 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 suggestion they use and they leave all right um and and this is this is this is what is actually making uh youtube fish youtube based fish keepers um, I call it now drones are I call it now puppets of those who are popular. Now, I, I, sh I share with you already in a in a in a podcast that my primary reason for doing tilapia, I have about probably about seventy five or something like that videos on tilapia, right? 
it's because in Jamaica during the COVID, during the two years of COVID, lockdown and all that, a lot of persons were looking for something to do that would actually assist them financially and help them to, you know, stay active. And you know, farming, aquaponics, tilapia, fish farming was the go to thing for several persons. Some persons did backyard farming and all that. Right? And other persons were searching for information that were just not there. And so what I did, I took it upon myself to do some research, do some field work, and present what I find. And as I go along, I am still presenting what I'm finding. And I find that not only in Jamaica, but also in Africa, other con Caribbean countries, and in India and Indonesia, persons are find interested um my tilapia series now my thing is if 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 you are into the youtube space and you want to reach a selective audience do your research and select a space select a, a zone that best suits you don't select a zone because um a popular youtuber is practically doing that and you see where in the popular youtuber get 200 and a thousand um, views for videos that probably you could do you might do it and just only get um 200 views if so much or even just 20 views right when you solidify yourself within the, the space the social media space right you can you can um you can find yourself growing and you can find yourself having that amount of views but your your, your, your footwork have to be there now i still have videos two three years ago that is only 50 odd views right and i have views that um i have videos where um for, for example i i placed a video out and it surprised me too and within within three days i got about 1300 views right and that 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 push for that video i don't know what was it i don't know if it was a topic i don't know if it was just a tag or a description or the um or the what do i call it now the the thumbnail right but the video shot when i said the video shot i mean the video was good and it got some good some good clicks some good impressions and everything were going like like okay right I'm saying this to say that, that you just have to make your own impression as you go along. It's not going to be, it might not be impressive at first. Um, but the more you, you keep at it, you find that you get better at it. You find that you get different results. Now, you have a few YouTubers within the, the hobby. Uh, they practice the whole idea of, um, you know, clickbait. Um, they, 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 they put up uh, thumbnails that um, is suggesting one thing, but when you really sit and look at the video in compartments, in details, you realize that what the thumbnail is actually suggesting is totally different from what the video is actually um, sharing, right? You don't want to do that right because that is like this disingenuity dishonesty right and some persons get away with it because they have been doing it for years and they have not gotten caught yes that doesn't mean that they won't get caught some persons you'll find that the um the subscriber is stuck at a particular point um because it's like the subscriber base or the audience watching realize the arm the, 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 the how that creator have actually gone about attracting them to the channel and they just don't like what they see at the end so what you're going to find is that if you continue to do this you're going to actually lose potential um audience members and there's going to be a sense of mistrust as far as your published video shares thumbnail content 
right so how i see it is it's it's all about just being real just being yourself just presenting what you're presenting yes you might need some work in the graphics you might need some work in the editing you might need some work in the, in the, in the sound you know in the picture all of that but over time that comes i i had a stupid phone at the beginning right and um the, 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 even now i look at it I, I shake my head at some of my old videos because honestly if i were me during that time i mean if i was an audience during that time probably i wouldn't want to even watch me because the content is good but the video is just the quality is just bad right so um it, it's 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 a it's, it's a whole lot of things in play and 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 some persons might wonder um so how is it that you actually get how is it that you actually get wow these words are beautiful how is it that you actually get so many videos i'm gonna pause this video here and take these birds the birds actually flew away before i could actually record them oh nice man about probably about 12 of them I'm at the back of my yard people you know meanwhile I, I am practically you know voicing this podcast and more time the podcast I kind of I feel a little bit more in tune with nature when I sit at the back of my yard or practically just walking looking at my pond me I'm speaking right so I feel sure me yeah so being yourself here that we're there all right so yeah, the, 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 the clickbait is only going to work on certain people. The quality of content as to whether or not the content is valid or, you know, it is just erroneous, it is just false, it is just... Alright, listen. To me, I don't see where in which I should put out content that doesn't have any substance in it. You know, you have three different types of content, right? You have content for entertainment. You have content for educational and you have content that actually um it's 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 different from in education it's like instructive um in a sense for example you can you can learn about um the, 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 the history on youtube right you can learn um how to how to actually string an eagle on, on YouTube and string an eagle and learn about history is two different two different things one of them is educational and one of them is instructive because it actually demonstrates why it's actually um you know being being you know pra practiced by you the audience right all right so I, I I am more instructive and educational rather than entertainment and so persons will actually jump on my videos when they want to find out um how i manage such and such and such i'm being in jamaica i i i got a i got a comment on my video the other day i want to know my video the other day and and person said that they just migrated and um they are sorry that they never knew about my channel before um when they were living in the caribbean right um this this just points to the fact that you know you 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 will get your audience you get a unique audience it's just that it takes time some person um will invest heavily in getting and and i and i'll talk to you a little bit more about this in probably another podcast some persons will invest heavily in getting their channel out there while some persons like myself you just become nonchalant you know just whatever happen happen if it go it go and as a result you know channel goes slow sometimes you might see a spurt you might see a spirit where in which um the channel like pick up like a hundred subscriber um within a week and then like for the next um two or three weeks you don't get none right but this is just it's just a part of life right you just have to do what you have to do all right let's focus for a few minutes let's focus on a few minutes and how i i i actually get content for my videos now i have Ah, uh, I call it now. Um, schedule videos, right? Schedule videos. That means my videos are made and they are 
um, they have a date and a time in which they are made public. And so chances are, if if I am, you know, health reason, I am not able to make any videos. Um, you probably might, would not really realize it until probably later down in the shares um when videos are either running out or depend on how the video is actually how the video being published is actually being presented right um i do this because of my time i i i i, I have time sometimes to do videos while sometimes i don't right i'm a high school teacher so therefore what happens is that i might find myself on a holiday two day break and within that two day i can make like all four or five videos right the content is there is just for me to put them together you understand i i ideas are there and and whatever i want to do is just right in front of me so i, I don't need to go and fabricate um any content so as to generate um excessive views so as to look as if i am smart Right, I I have a system, thirty two systems or more. I'm honestly I'm not sure, but I'm not more than thirty two. Right, and every day something else is happening. Sometimes my my family even asks me, um, Daddy, I'm a wife. Yeah, my family might ask me, um, Daddy, why you have to make video? I have video. You know, I have, you don't need to make no more video. But each day is a different experience. Right, each day different things happen, and because different things happen. You're just trying to use YouTube as a like a diary, so as to record and to, so as to you know share with individuals the pace in which you're going at, um, where you're at, um, how you get there, and you know, so to speak. Boom. All right. So, is another podcast, guys. I kind of going a little long today. Sorry about that. As I said before, you have ten podcasts within one season. And we are at number six. So, let me next week for number seven. And then now we'll see you at end up there. Alright? Peace out, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.